In this video, I want to show you guys something better than Windows Task Manager. So this is a Windows Task Manager. Yeah, it's good. It works. It also looks good. This is what we all use. But what if I tell you there is something better than Windows Task Manager? So there is this program called Task Manager Deluxe. This is a free program, also a portable program, also a lightweight program, which can be a really good alternative to Windows Task Manager. And it is actually more powerful than Windows Task Manager. You can get more information about your system compared to the Task Manager. It is actually that good. So first, let me turn on the dark mode so it looks good on the eyes. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Maybe it doesn't look as good as the Windows Task Manager, but once you start using it, once you see what it does, it's actually better than Windows Task Manager. So right now, <laughs> you can see how many processes there are, okay? But you can switch and select all processes and there are total 188 processes running in the background. If you compare this with Task Manager, I don't think it shows all the tasks running in the background. So we have 58 plus eight. How many is that? 66. And we can't get more insight because we have no option. So here you can see it's like way more than what Windows Task Manager shows us. Again, okay? we can also categorize them with like non-system processes. Then we have the 77. We have system processes only. We have logged user processes. You can get more information and you can get more details what programs are running in the background. You can see every single detail about like all the processes running in the background or foreground. Then we have the services. Yeah, you can also see all the services that are running in the background. I mean, they are always running in the background. There is also a category. Okay, we can go and select the services only. So these are the all the services that are running and you can identify what they do and all that. This can be really useful to troubleshoot your computer or just to know if there are any programs like unknown programs uh, that are running in the background. So we can go and all and you'll see there are 713 processes in total, including the services and all the drivers. Okay, you can also select drivers only and you can see what are the drivers and everything. So basically you get a lot more information than what you get in Task Manager. I know some people are going to say there is something called Process Explorer from Sys Internals. This thing is actually bought by Microsoft. So this is part of Microsoft thingy. Yeah, this one is also good, but it's not as powerful as the uh, task manager deluxe or tmx that's what they say actually yeah that's what the short name of this thing is okay and there is this thing called auto runs here you'll find the programs that automatically run in background which you can also find in task manager if you go into the startup apps but you won't be able to find all the programs that run in background some programs or processes are actually hidden so you won't find them here but in here yeah you will find them if you have watched my previous videos or you're my regular viewer you might know that i don't use microsoft edge anymore now i finally know even though i don't use it and i can't uninstall it it's still running in the background uh, when I start the system. So I can just check this, okay? And what are the other things that I don't want? Okay, yeah, this one, uh, Google Chrome. I always use Google Chrome, so I wanna disable this too. I mean, whenever I open the Google Chrome, it will automatically update anyway, whenever I open it. So I, let's also disable this. And what are the other things? I don't know the other things, so I'm not gonna touch them. I'm only gonna touch the things that I know that are safe to turn off okay so i definitely don't want these two to run uh, on this startup so we have uh, security health thingy mouse driver i want all of these actually and uh, we have uh, proton vpn i use proton vpn but i don't want this thing to run at startup so i'm gonna disable that winget ui same thing 
um, I'm going to open this and then it's going to do whatever it wants to do. Okay, so I'm going to disable that one too. Epic launcher. Uh, I don't know about that. Let's let's disable the epic launcher too. Why not? This will make my PC start faster. Okay, and VMware. Yeah, let's disable that one too, because whenever I need it, I can just open it. Explorer, you don't want to disable that. <laughs> Shell, you don't want to disable that. Okay, so you don't want uh, the system apps to disable. And I also have one application called Glassbrick added manually to the startup program because uh, whenever I'm recording video, I always forget to run this. So basically what I can do with this program is I can zoom into screen when I'm recording. So yeah, I, I want this. That's why I have this thing manually added here. So I'm not going to disable that. So now I'm just going to click on remove checked auto runs. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Yes, yes, I really want that. Oh, what happened? Okay, we were unsuccessful to remove the Google updater thingy. Maybe because I'm still using this. Okay, so that's why I need to close all of it. Uh, most of the things are actually cleaned up. Okay, so this is really useful. You should check your auto run list. You might have more than this. <laughs> okay, and we have network. It will show you your network information like IP address and all that. Okay, let's skip that because you'll see my IP address there. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we can check our disk and uh, you can also check the read and write speed if you're transferring the file looks good actually okay and you can also check your gpu information uh, it's the rtx 2070 so if you want deeper insights i mean this can be really useful so we have overview we have uh, engines like uh, 3d overlay video copy security and all that so these are the, the, the different things within the GPU that you get information. Right now it's rendering the 3D things, probably my screen, and I'm also doing the screen recording. Actually, I'm using the GPU one to do the screen recording. Yeah, it's video decode, yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm actually using one monitor in NVIDIA GPU and one second monitor in uh you know intel gpu so when you have monitor plugged in the 3d thing will always run that's igpu actually not external one so it's built into the cpu which is pretty good for recording and my main gpu can always be free for different things gaming and ai stuffs and all that and then we have a performance thingy <laughs> or tab here you can check your cpu information okay you'll see all cpu cores okay uh, you can see CPU thread usage and we can go into CPU overview and here you can see which programs are using most of your CPU. So right now OBS Studio is the one that is using most of my CPU which is not that much 5-6% like that's, not, that's, that's it. Very detailed information actually about everything i can't even you know show you guys everything what it has to offer i might miss all the things here so at the bottom you have some more info about the memory and all that like uh, i have 32 gigabytes of ram this is the speed two slots are empty this thing is so good it provides so much information actually <laughs> and then we have system information here you can get all the system information about your pc manufacturer your motherboard and all that bios tpm everything okay so uh even the cpu gpu this is like something that uh windows task manager doesn't have but there are some other things that you can also do like you can also check for updates windows updates okay you can also see the history of windows updates that you have installed Okay, so there is a new Windows updates available. I can just run the system updates right here. It's gonna open the Windows updates thingy or settings, and then I can click on install all. You also get a internet download and upload speed thingy, <laughs> which is also insane. This is something that I have in my task uh, bar using the traffic monitor. This provides every detail about your system actually and we have this desktop explorer thingy let's click on that i don't know what it does oh magnifying oh okay okay it's it gives you the information about your display okay 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 i got it monitor layout 
you can also see yeah that's accurate actually okay so this is about your monitor okay again as i said i might not be able to give you guys all the info about this thing uh, what is terminate oh okay <laughs> when you select something you can terminate the process okay so uh, you can also do a process cleanup it will automatically clean up some of the processes that it thinks is useless or something i mean i can go even deeper and do many things here wow okay okay i leave this thing for you guys this is something like really powerful <laughs> okay so we have terminate option basically whatever process you have selected will get terminated don't try to terminate the red ones because they are system ones okay don't 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 do that uh, you should go and select the non-system processes that way you know everything that you see here will be almost like terminatable is that even a word <laughs> yeah i might replace this with the task manager actually i mean i don't need all the insights all the time but i might keep it yeah this is so powerful let me let me actually try to do something here pin to task bar can i do that yeah let's do that uh let's have it here hey can you save the dark mode okay yeah we have settings let's see if we can change the dark mode oh okay this one i think i checked this one okay save data to file okay this will basically uh save everything temperature celsius okay yeah that's good i can also enable the shortcut keys okay so yeah there is another thing virus total thingy you can also scan files and processes using virus total that is cool okay i just need to get the virus total api key which i can get by creating an account and logging in and then okay i got it so yeah now if i close this it should retain the dark mode yeah it did okay it's not as smooth as task manager but it is good okay it is good i can get so much information uh, from this thing wow <laughs> this is actually good so this is the official website okay uh you can go here and download this thing and this thing is still being updated i think that this was last updated in like december 2024 so which is uh, again great if you have an old computer like with 32 bit one like windows 10 32 bit or windows 7 32 bit yeah you can still get this thing for your system now this thing is free but there is a premium plan too okay so uh, all licenses are lifetime register user will receive all future updates and all that which is also true for free user so here license you can see free to use for private or educational or non-commercial purposes like i'm doing i'm doing an educational thingy i think this thing is free okay for use people like us <laughs> for private use and educational use yeah that's it this is actually really good i like wow okay <laughs> i like this i might keep it i might not use it all the time but this thing is actually really powerful yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.